Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I had some requests on how to make this crown on, uh, that I used on my Tim Holtz uh, car carousel storage so I will share how I made it um, I can first tell you this is made from grunge board it's a Tim Holtz grunge board and that's very uh, sturdy and flexible so See, take this out of the way and uh, yeah this base here you can also uh, use this for some other uh, things so I will uh, show you after we finish this up uh, what other things you can uh, uh, make from this base so then we can get started uh, for this we need some circles and I got uh, two in papers and one in grunge board and uh, a strip of paper that I scored on 3 8 of an inch and then I cut this so it can be fold so just cut it like so Put this away and then it's much, much more easy to fold around so we can finish this up you see here I've painted it and I painted also all the strips we're going to use from the grunge board and I used uh, this um, paint dabber sandal it's called so and um, uh, for these circles they are two and a half inch wide and uh, this you can cut out from a die or you can use a box you have and draw around or if you like you can um, cut out a square of paper uh, two and a half by two and a half or the size you want to have and just fold it like so and then cut about like so and then you get yourself a template that you can draw around so yeah then we can get started so we will start with this one and this we are going to glue around here like so so here you can use uh, score tape or you can use uh, this glue here scotch strong precise glue it's the same glue as the quick dry this is a new one so they have changed the name so I thought maybe we can try to use the glue gun here and see how that goes. So then you have to be precise. I think I go on with this glue here. It's much more easy to get it precise. So I just take some glue around like so. And I need to uh, see. and we just fold it around so and then we continue We can see how much we need here. I think I cut this strip about one, no, eight and a half inch, so we can cut out a bit here. So, finish it up. if I was a bit out of frame here <laughs> but I hope you got the idea so 
so now we can glue on these two. And the one here I haven't painted because it's going to go on the back here. So we just put that on. So this is if you're going to place this on the box it won't show up, but then you're sure all is glued well done down. And I get a lot of requests of what glue I use, but it's important that you use the glue you like best. I like this glue. It's uh, very strong and it uh, glues fast down, but if you need a bit more time before it glues, you can use an other glue. So just find out what's best or works best for you. Now we can start gluing the strips on here, but maybe we can take the outside first. And all these strips are cut at 3 8 of an inch. Oops, there you go. <laughs> so now we can glue this on here. We can start with the glue gun, then we're sure it's glued down here. To use some score tape or around here. And I always take too much glue on. <laughs> Try to cut this off where they meet a bit more. There. Maybe it was a bit too much here. A little bit more off. So while I'm holding here, I can tell you a bit of these strips are also cut uh, three eighth of an inch and five inch long, and you need six of these. And here I find it most easy to use my glue gun. So I will start here with one. So now if you like to get this precise on all sides you can take a strip of paper around like so, then you fold it in half. And then you can take a mark here if you like to, but I'm just going to hold it here so I know where to go. on each side so then we can fold this in and just snip this off in three so 
I folded this in three. So just cut out one here. from the other side. So you take it half into here. for the last one. So, a bit more to the side. So, now it looks like so. And then I've painted the... this is a wood I'm not sure how much this measure, or maybe three quarter of an inch. It's a bit hard to measure here, yeah. I think about three quarter of an inch. But you can make um, some from Fimo or clay if you like to. So now we are going to fold this over like so and glue it on. So take a bit of glue here. can see this like so and then we go from the other side so here I just eyeball it you can take your heat, uh, heat uh, tool and uh, warm it up and uh, move them. So, try to get them the same under here, if you can see. is finished. So we finish on this side. And the last one. You see, this goes down like so, so you can help it a bit. So now you can put anything on the top you like, and you can put some flowers inside and uh, yeah, decorate it as you like. Here I see this is a bit not straight here, so here I can use uh, my heat tool 
and warm it up top and uh, bend it back a bit, a bit. So you have to work a bit with it. So then you can put a heart on here if you like to, or you can uh, use this one. I'm going to use this for a project, so I think I will glue this on the top here. So I'm going to make a box with this on the top, so then you see what I've done. Like so. And these are um, cut out three layers of shipboard and painted gold. And um, I can show you the die here I use this. It's the movers and shapers from Tim Holtz. So, and this you also can use as a crown for a girl a party, a birthday party or something, or a boy. And um, then you just don't take this under and you take it much more wider. And then you can cut out uh, this when you made this bigger and have a rub as a princess crown. Like so. And uh, the die here is, uh, what does it say here? Yeah. Uh, distressed doily. So, but you can use your punches or make something fine here. And uh, this base here you can also uh, make a basket out of. I've started one here. I think I will zoom out a bit. Wrong way. Like so. And then you just have to make sure that you um, uh, have uh, 10 or 12 or not 13 because then it won't meet up when you... So I can start a bit and show you here how to do this. You take this out, this under. And here I used a half inch strip. Like so. You get the idea here and then you can glue it on the back here if you like to to make it a bit sturdy so you know it's in shape so i will finish uh, this up and i will show you the finish as a result i forgot to say if you haven't done anything like this before for the next round here you start the opposite way so when this is over you go under here and glue it on the back and uh, if you have two short strips you can just um, uh, glue it on the back and continue around and uh, this you also can make some uh, from squares and make maybe a lid on the top and then you just take some of these a bit longer so it can be folded over so be back. So now I've got it so high as I want it. So I thought I'd sh uh, show you how I finish it up on the top here. So I cut off, um, yeah, you see here. So on the back side these are loose, so we are going to glue them down. So I just use my glue gun here. And this one we're going to flip over like so, and glue them down. Like so. So then I will be back when I've finished it up. So now it's almost uh, finished, but before I show you what I've used here, I will also make some grass to have inside here. So I will show you how you can make that. Here I cut up uh, some strips of leftover papers. So uh, just uh, not measure at all but just cut. So we're going to make some grass of this and here I use the same colors as for the grass here. So and we need some water. much more easy to form it then. So, and you can start crinkling it up just like so. So, 
so now this can be put in the basket here so this you can use for some goodies or you can make a little mini album to go inside and uh, yeah what you like to so you can also put on a bit more images here maybe so this can go inside here I want to glue them down before I've uh, put in the goodies so just to show you a bit here what you can do so like so and maybe uh, this one here like so and now I can put some Easter goodies or eggs or anything so I made this as a Easter basket so for the papers I've used here I've got fussy cut out from uh, Graphic 45 and it's Once Upon the Spring Time collection and uh, for the grass here I used uh, this dye here it's uh, Sisix dye, grass dye and I also used Marta Stewart's dye, grass dye but if you don't have this you can um, cut this grass as the same way we did uh, under the crown to create your own grass and uh, for the handle here I used uh, this punch from Martha Stewart but you can use any punch or any stripe you like here it's uh, just to give you some ideas so yeah I think that was all a little bow on the back here and maybe I put a little image here as well so I hope you will try it out. It's an easy and fast uh, project to make for a gift for a friend or so. So thank you so much for watching and I wish you all a happy and a great day. Take care. Bye bye.